There it is. The big, nasty, super large. Makes 400 cups. Folgers Classic. It's the only thing I can get my hands on before this all started. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. What do you know? Another rainy day in sunny San Diego, California. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the one, the only, the homegrown Joe. That Folgers, man, it's just like, rots your gut. If there's any local San Diego coffee roasters that want to sponsor this channel, please. Today on Homegrown Joe, we have a very special dish that we're doing. It's going to be a lamb roast with potatoes and onions and carrots. Very, very classic, especially with Easter coming up. Oh, I forgot. The Pope has canceled Easter. In any case, it is very special because this animal is one that I slaughtered and butchered with these very two hands and the help of my good friend. So come along with me and enjoy the ride. Okay, let's take a look at our ingredients. So, carrot. I got a whole bunch of these nice little uh, Yukon Gold potatoes. We're going to be putting these in whole because it's such a long cook. So, don't worry about that. Yellow onion. Uh, we're going to use a lot of garlic. And this, we're actually going to be putting inside the meat. I'll show you how that's done. Some, I guess we can call it freshly dried rosemary and then for the rub I just really like to go ham kind of add everything I got got some garam masala this everyday seasoning it's got some coriander mustard seed all kinds of stuff in there crushed red pepper of course uh, fresh ground black pepper cumin comino for all you non-Spanish speakers, just kidding, I can barely speak Spanish, call me no. Then I got some very special sea salt here that my cousin got me from Hawaii, um, and it's super spicy, I think it's got habanero flakes in it, but yeah, super, super spicy, and some smoked paprika. Now, the star of the show. Would you look at that? Now, I brought this out of the freezer um, yesterday. I let it sit out in a in a bowl of cold water for 30 minutes just to get it going. And I left this in the fridge overnight, just like this, on a rack, because I wanted it to drain properly. But this was a very small lamb, so this is a very small shoulder actually. Not that big. Not that big. So get it on the board. As I switched from my nighttime pajamas into my daytime sweatpants, I asked myself, am I enjoying this quarantine a little too much? Cooking extravagant meals, talking on the phone for hours, allowing the couch to consume me. Is this the life of some aged aristocrat? Shouldn't I have my nose to the grind, pulling myself up by my bootstraps? Or is this something else entirely? Think about those hunter-gatherers. Those people working a whopping 20 hours a week, not greeting at Walmart for minimum wage or sitting at a call center, but doing the things that we do for fun. Fishing, weaving, whittling, drawing, crafting. So as you sit there making your cardboard robots, keep in mind that you may just be activating some prehistoric part of your brain, some deep ancestral longing to do whatever okay. the hell you want. We need some rosemary. 
and we're going to go ahead and, you know, sure, 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 sure. So, roll your sleeves up. We want to take this guy and make little, little incisions all around. And we're going to take the garlic, just like this, and shove it on in. If you're one of those weird uh, pimple popper people, my god. Is that not the grossest thing you've ever seen? I'm sure this is like a reverse of that, actually. <laughs> Fresh rosemary. So let me tell you about the farm where this lamb is from. For you San Diegans, out by Pala Casino, there's a nice little farm where um, a very nice lady raises these lambs. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate enough to learn about her through the grapevine. And she's got tons of acreage. Uh, she has a uh, she has a microgreen set up so and she can feed the entire flock with with just making these microgreens every day. She's awesome. But we do the uh, we do the butchery and the slaughter there after we choose the lambs and I mean if you're gonna get down on meat it's pretty much the most perfect situation. Those who pass the sentence should deal the sword with <laughs> something like that. Okay, we're going in here. Now, I like a lot of garlic in here. Gonna be like jellied garlic in every bite. Like I said, this is a very small shoulder. I could eat this in one sitting. I'd call this a tablespoon, eh? Why not? Give it a, give it a tablespoon of garam masala. Half a tablespoon. Smoked paprika, half a tablespoon of cumin, this black pepper, I mean, let's just do like 30 cranks on this guy, one for good luck, I love red pepper flakes, this everyday seasoning with grinder, Trader Joe's special, I've actually added more peppercorns to this, just because you know, I like pepper. Come on. Okay, that should be good. And let's get our special salt in there. Let's go half a tablespoon of salt for right now. And if we need to salt that, salt that juice up later, that natural broth at the end, that'll be fine. Okay, give it a little, a little dingy dingy. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Alright. Push that off the screen. Hey, get back there. Okay. Now, let's give our little baby an olive oil bath. <laughs> All right, now let's give her a rub down. Oh, yeah. Use it as a little mop, you know. Sure, and get in all the little nooks and crannies. Wow, that was a perfect. That was a perfect amount. Write it down. Why don't you? That. I want to say thank you to this lamb for giving its life, and you know, it had one bad day, one short march. Up to the killing tree. And that was that. Lived its whole life in the same spot with all its little lamb buddies. You couldn't ask for better. Well, let's get our potatoes in. I'm using a trusty uh, cast iron here. Stuff. So let's 
so it's just rough rough chop a, a carrot here you know nothing nothing fancy okay onion they <laughs> look like hot dogs <laughs> I don't want them to look like hot dogs okay you don't want them too small this onion we're gonna do quarters you see on these fancy these fancy chefs oh look at that what a nasty guy let's just go ahead and take that oh it's not lost you know don't waste I don't want to waste look at that just cut it off okay Looking good there now let's get our beautiful deal right there and I'm just going to use you know just uh, give it a quarter inch of water in there just so we're not burning okay. starting at 300 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna let this go for three hours right now and then we'll, we'll check on it and we may kick it up a notch and I'm gonna leave it uncovered so call me crazy but I really want this guy to brown up nice you know because you put it in for for three hours at 200 you know it'll be cooked but it's not gonna be browned at all so I really want this to be I want him to have a nice bark on the outside of this thing like a barbecue so this is what we're looking at after three and a half hours we're seeing a lot of oh my god let me just oh yeah Oh, that's going to be good. Okay. We're seeing the bone right now. That's a good sign. Over here, it's shrinking back. So to tent the roast, some people put it in, um, you know, tin foil or whatever, but that's kind of wasteful. Just get a bowl. Cover her up. I've got this cool tool here. I'm going to use it to smash these tomatoes a little bit tomatoes potato tomato whatever I meant to say, you know what I mean okay look at all those juices oh, freaking forget about it oh Nelly and I actually kicked the oven up to 450 because I really want to get these guys get them a nice little uh, get some color on them tuck these onions in they're gonna they're gonna burn they're gonna burn. All right, enough, enough lollygagging. Let's get in there. Oh, yes. Wow, wow, wow. There's our little hot dog carrots. <laughs> my oh my. I told you I could eat this. This is like one chicken thigh. You know. I mean, you guys weren't supposed to see this. I've been sneaking pieces. But, let's get in here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you see that? Look at that little garlic there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A little garlic butter. Oh, my goodness. All right. Okay, okay, let's get a piece here. I feel like I'm taken back into ancient Athens and <laughs> a spring lamb has just been roasted all day. Oh, this part, this part just, this part doesn't even want to stay on there. Oh my god. Look at that crackle. This comes right off. Holy moly. Oh my gosh. It's just... It just wants to come away. Ho. Ho ho ho. Oh my gosh. That... That crispy skin. That's like... 
lamb chicharron right there. Oh my god. See how juicy that is? Do you see how perfect that is? Isn't she beautiful? Mm. And those perfect potatoes. These are going to be lava hot, but it smells, this smells like caramel. Get ready to burn my mouth off. Oh my god. Oh goodness gracious. Soaked up all that juice. Well thank you for joining me on yet another adventure with Homegrown Joe. Where we explore San Diego and all its delicious, beautiful bounty. Oh my god.